is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about Seaback Energy Technology and holy smokes does this company have a ton of upside and you may be asking well what is Seaback Technology Lucas? Well I'm here to tell you it's actually going to be a Chinese battery company and not just any battery company they plug lithium batteries into EVs. So if you're interested in this topic I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we start talking about batteries and charging up, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and that's right, it's time to get into the video. Wow, I tell you what, the EV sector is absolutely on fire. I mean, it seems like any time a stock comes out, it just gets attacked and that thing just shoots up in stock price. Whether it is anticipated, or it's a SPAC, or it's just a stock that we start to find out about it just gets attacked and that thing shoots up in the upward direction and it seems like that is happening a lot more and more and the EV sector is just really a booming sector I guess you could say but then I think where I wanted to lead with this is now a lot more people are starting to look for the things that help supply and support the EV car or the truck or the vehicle itself such as the charging station or maybe you're talking about the parts and some things that go in to the actual EV vehicle itself. In this case, that is one of the things I'm going to be talking about. Now, this stock was recommended by a, a YouTube subscriber, a great person. His name is Randy. So I'm going to give you a shout out, Randy. Thank you for recommending this video. Um, and so as an investor, as a person looking to invest outside of just the vehicle itself, what are a good stock or are good stocks? And I'm here to tell you, Seaback Energy Technology is going to be one of those. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down and provide you exactly what this company is all about and some things that they've done. So swinging on over here, Seaback Energy Technology is a Chinese company founded in 2001. Its focus is on research and development, manufacture and sales of high power lithium batteries. This has its offering a wide variety of products for customers to make use of. That ranges to batteries for electrical vehicles as well as backup energy storage. So keep that in mind because those are both some very important things. Its EV battery offerings include those made for light EVs, normal EVs, and electric buses. The company joined the public market in 2006 when it listed shares of CBAT, CBAT on the stock on the NASDAQ. Their leader of the company, serving in the chairman and president and CEO roles since 2016. So they've kind of had a leader in Mr. Lee for a while now, and he's taken on many roles. And I think that that's very significant because he's been able to kind of progress through, you know, the system, which is awesome to see. So continuing on, on September 28th, 2020, CVAC Energy has successfully developed large size cylindrical tabless batteries with 25% boost in energy density and 20% cost saving. Now I think these are important things to think about as we continue to move forward because now you're starting to compete and against the likes of a Tesla. Now you're starting to compete against the likes of let's say a Panasonic or a Samsung or you know many companies out there that are dabbling in the battery field I guess you could say. And so these are some very important things to think about as we continue into this video. So according to the news published on Yahoo Finance, Seaback Energy Technology Inc., a world-leading lithium-ion battery manufacturer and electric energy solution provider, announced that its product released of 32140 large-size cylindrical uh, tabless battery has officially passed its technical and pilot plant test which demonstrated a success in product research of this model. As the requirement of mass production on this product has been achieved, Seaback Energy is planning for the construction of the new standardized production line, which aims to achieve mass product delivery in the first half of 2021. That is absolutely amazing news. 
And I think when you look at it again, big picture, this is a direction at which we're heading, whether we're talking stock market or, you know, we're talking just real world life. I mean, we are headed towards an electrical vehicle driven future. And I think that this is a company that is going to have an impact. And the reason I say that just in general is because batteries are going to play an important role in the future of the electrical vehicle. Which ones are going to have the most longevity? Which ones are going to, you know, be very supportive of the vehicle? Which ones are going to, in this case also, which ones are going to create enough energy storage and, and things like that. So I just personally feel that the battery is going to be very significant as we continue to move forward into the future. I think a lot of people agree with my theory that batteries are going to be very important. And, you know, obviously I'm not the first one to say that, but I think this next piece of information that I'm going to provide really kind of supports that and shows that batteries are going to be significant, especially when you're doing, I guess, a good service and providing a really good product. So swinging on over here. On Friday, November 13th, the pro uh, stock price of Seaback Energy Technology, Inc., ticker symbol CBAT, surged 54.91% from $3.97 to $6.15. Seaback Energy Technology is a China-based leading lithium-ion battery manufacturer and energy solution provider, which we've talked about, which offers products used in electric vehicles. In the past week, there was a rally in the stock prices of China-based electric vehicle companies NIO, Xpong, and Li Auto. Xpong and Li Auto companies reported their earnings this past week, and they beat analyst expectations. This largely triggered a stock price rally for electric vehicle suppliers, including Seaback, Piedmont, Lithium, and solo so that right there kind of supports why the stock price is really kind of going in the upward direction i think a lot of it too is people are starting to find other companies like i said outside of just the vehicle itself and so i think that is also another reason you know when the whole sector starts to go in one direction a lot of the other ones tend to kind of follow suit um, and so i think that's kind of what's playing in hand in hand right here Seaback Energy's high-powered rechargeable batteries are largely used in electric vehicles. For the first half of 2021, Seaback is planning to mass-produce a large-size cylindrical tabless battery, which has about a five times higher energy capacity than the previous model, which five times is pretty significant. Seaback also said that its tabless design for batteries has been applied to both a mode and cathode, of the battery which greatly improved the performance of each single cell compared to Tesla's cathode tabless design. And you know that obviously was talked about at Tesla's battery day. And that's something that they're continuing to expand on as well. And you know are continuing to push into the future. Um, and so when you have competitors out there that are really pushing hard against Tesla. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Tesla responds and reacts. But how these companies continue to progress and move past against the likes of a Tesla. This is all amazing, I, I believe. And I think uh, this company is definitely going to be one of those ones that we're going to be like, hey, they did really well. Now, we have come to my favorite part of any video. And of course, it's chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and check out CBAT. So basically what we're going to be looking at is a one month chart. And I do want to let you guys know the market is currently open. So today it opened at $7.95. It got as high as $7.98. Its low was $6.82. Its volume is $6.379 million. Market cap is currently sitting at $474.5 million. 52-week high is $11.40. 52-week low is $0.36. Cents, and its average volume is $13.51 million. So currently it's trading at $7.14. Uh, there's roughly about 30 minutes till close of the market. So it's down 9.63%. This is coming after, obviously, that massive, massive run right there around November 10th, November 11th, uh, which we spoke about. Um, this thing went pretty crazy in the upward direction. It had just a slight pullback and then shot up again more in the upward direction. Now, I think what's kind of going on is it's kind of coming back to reality. It is definitely having a pullback. And I think what you're going to start to see is some resistance occur, maybe in the $7, maybe a little bit lower in the $6 range. But I do think you're going to start to see some leveling off. And as more people start to become aware of this stock and more things continue to happen in the Chinese EV sector, this thing is going to start to continue back in the upward direction. 
Um, like I said, I think batteries and I think this field is going to be very important as we continue to move forward in the future of the EV sector, no question. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned some information on CBAC energy technology. And I do, like I said, I feel that this one is going to be a very important but very beneficial company as we continue to move forward in the growth of the EV sector. I do want to remind you guys, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do, entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.